Hi guys, this is your friend Asan Amin and you're watching Nawai Amin. Today we will discuss about the Shahid Rafiq Khan who is a Pakistani American billionaire businessman and sports tycoon. So before starting the video, it's a request for all viewers to subscribe and like Nawai Amin. So let's start our video. Shahid Rafi Khan is a Pakistani-American billionaire businessman and sports tycoon. He is the owner of Flex and Gate, an American automotive company. Khan is also the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars of the National Football League, Fulham FTC of the Championship and co-owner of All Elite Wrestling. Khan was featured on the front cover of Frost magazine in 2012, associating him as a face of the American dream. As of October 2021, Khan's personal network is $8.9 billion. In 2021, he ranked 94 in the Frost 400 list of richest American and the 291th richest person in the world. Khan is the second richest auto parts magnet behind George F.W. Schaeffer, who has a network of $12.6 billion. Shahid Khan is also the richest person of the Pakistani origin. If we talk about his early life and education and his business career, Khan was born in Lahore, Pakistan, to a middle-class family involved in the construction industry. His mother, now retired, was a professor of mathematics, and his father was Rafi Khan, who used to have a shop of the survey and drawing accessories. Shahid Khan also had a brother named Tariq Rafi Khan, who died in his early 20s. He moved to the United States in 1957 at the age of 16 to study at the University of Illinois of Urbana Campaign. When he went to the United States, he spent his first night in a $2 nightroom at the university, and his first job was washing dishes of $1.20 an hour. He joined the Beta Theta Pi fraternity at the school. He graduated from the UIUC College of Engineering with a BSc in Industrial Engineering in 1971. He later was awarded the Mechanical Science Engineering Distinction Alumni Award in 1999. Khan worked at the Automatic Manufacturing Company Flex and Gate Corporation while attending the University of Illinois. When he graduated, he was hired as an engineering director for the company. In 1973, he started bumper works which made cars bumpers for customized pickup trucks and body shop repairs. The funds to start the new business include a $50,000 loan from the Small Business Administration and $16,000 of his own saving. In 1980s, he bought Flex and Gear from his former employer, Charles Clayson Butzel, bringing bumper works into the fold. Khan created the company so that it supplied bumper for the big three automakers. In 1984, he began supplying a small number of bumper for Twita pickups. By 1980, it was the sole supplier for Twita pickups, and by 1989, it was the sole supplier for the entire Twita line in the United States. Adopting the Twita way increased company efficiency, the ability to change its manufacturing process within a few minutes. Since then, the, the company has grown from $17 million in sales to an estimate $2 billion in 2010 to $8.89 billion in 2020. By 2019, Flex and Gate had 25,000 employees and 69 manufacturing plants in the United States, China, Argentina, Spain, France, Germany, Mexico, and Canada, and in 2020 had a revenue of $8.9 billion and was ranked as the 46th large privately held American company by Forbes. It is also ranked by Automotive News as the seventh largest American automotive parts supplier and overall 30 third largest supplier in the world. In May 2020, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration fined Flex and Gate $57,000 for health violation at its urban plant. Before the 2012 NFL draft, the United Automobile Workers and other environmentalist groups have organized as a campaign for civil accusation against Flex and Gate and Khan. On November 29, 2011, Khan agreed to purchase the Jacksonville Jaguars from Vanier and his ownership group subjects to NFL approval. Ware announced his sales of the 
team to Khan later the same day. The terms of the deal were not immediately disclosed other than a verbal commitment to keep the team in Jacksonville, Florida. The purchase price was estimated to have been $760 million. The NFL owners annually approved the purchase in December 19, 2011. The sale was finalized on January 4, 2012, making Khan the first member of the ethnic minority to own an NFL team. Khan is a proud member of the NFL Foundation. Khan is one of the three NFL team owners born outside of the United States of America, the other two being Kim Pegula at the Buffalo Bills, born in South Korea, and Ziggy Wolf of the Ministeria Viking, born in Germany. In July 2013, Khan negotiated the purchase of the London soccer club Fulham FC of the Premier League from its previous owner, Muhammad Ali Fiat. The deal was finalized on July 12, 2013 with the outmost estimate between 150 to 200 million pounds. An official purchase price for the club was not announced with him starting that it was highly confidential. In 2019, it was revealed that Shahid Khan and his son Chani Khan are the lead investor behind the professional wrestling promotion all elite wrestling. Tony Khan is also the president and CEO of the promotion. If we talk about Khan's personal life, Khan is Muslim. Khan met Ann Carlson at the University of Illinois in 1967 and dated her for the 10 years before they married in 1977. They have two children together, a daughter, Shana Khan, and a son, Tony Khan. Born in 1982, Khan became a neutralized American citizen in 1991. Khan owns a house in Naples, Florida, and the Super Yacht Kisman. Khan has received a number of rewards from the University of Illinois, including a distinguished almost award in 1999 from the Department of Mechanical Science and Industrial Engineering. The Alumni Award for Distinguished Services in 2006 from the College of Engineering. And with his wife and cousin, the Distinguished Service Award in 2005 for the University of Illinois Alumni Association. If you like that video, please subscribe and like. Now I mean, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.